Personally, I have been experimenting with various different solar systems for quite a while now. And I've been playing around with a lot of different solar generators, as you can probably see on my YouTube channel. I've done various different reviews on them. And I've been always wanting to get into a more modular setup where you have the charge controller, battery and inverter all separated, all kind of connected via cables, but all in modular parts. And actually, I've been really lucky and fortunate that Red Odeo contacted me. They were interested in sending me out a battery for me to review. I have a full video on that if you want to have a look at that. And by the way, they are going to be doing a Black Friday sale. Definitely worth having a look at that in case you're interested in the battery. But today we're going to be looking at one of their MPPT charge controllers. It is a 40 amp charge controller that they sent out to me. I will leave a link down below in case you're interested. And as I said, they're doing a Black Friday sale at the moment. I think it's going on till the 3rd of December. So I will leave links, affiliate links for the European store and the US store. Uh, they're both separate different stores. So have a look at the links down below. I will leave links. And I also have a coupon code, which is the one good road in case you're interested in saving like five or 10% off your order. So this is going to be a bit of an overview of using this MPPT charge controller. I've hooked it up to different panels. I've tested it. I'm going to be uh, going back and forth showing you the installation process. I've hooked it up to their Red Odeo 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. And I have been re researching that um, these batteries need to be maybe a little bit uh, insulated even though they are in a plastic shell but in the winter time it's probably a better a good idea to insulate them so I have been I have been thinking about insulating and that's why there's a there's an insulation just the, which is the original packaging it comes in and I've just left it in that so that's why you see that in the video something to keep in mind when you're getting into this and you're if you're interested in this solar charge controller is that actually cables are not included so you will need to find those on another site personally i got mine secondhand over on amazon so you just gotta have a look over on different various websites they're relatively easy to find especially on amazon i'll leave some links down below if i find something but definitely just keep in mind that you'll have to go to amazon and have a look for some pv solar cables cut the the MC4 plug off and then the cable you could use for the battery would be an o-ring terminal at the end of the cable you can source those quite easily on over on AliExpress or something like that so I'll, I'll leave some links down below I really like mine they came with a fuse installed on the battery connection to the solar charge controller so that's really cool as there's, there's there's definitely different types floating around possibly in the future Red Odium might stock that in their accessory section so maybe keep an eye on that and have a look at that but keep in mind pretty much any solar system you'll be sourcing some of the products yourself for example the solar panels i mean you've you've got to find out which solar panels you want to use and from which manufacturer etc so it's very similar with the cables so it's actually quite simple to install i decided to use the mounting brackets because it just allowed for more ventilation and it was just a much more solid fixing i just decided to use the mountings which came with it uh, you can also use your own screws if you want. You can mount it however you want. But I just mounted it in a, it just in my wardrobe space and I put the battery below. It was actually a really good setup. And I had to get a 5 meter cable to connect up to my solar panels. The solar panels that I'm actually using are their secondhand panels, which I picked up for only 20 euros. So that's like 25, what, $30 or something for 200 watt panels each. Well, I've, I've measured on the, the days I'm getting in November, I'm getting about 200 and I think the maximum I saw was 223 or 230. I think I got 230 so far. Uh, we got 16 amps coming in and I'll show you the Bluetooth app. Bluetooth app works great. Um, maybe in the future, it could be nice to have some more parameters, more data available. Uh, I'd like to see the percentage of the battery a bit more clearly, but the, I can see the percentage of the battery um, sometimes on the app and I can see it on the display. The Bluetooth app works quite well and I'm sure they'll give updates over time um, as, as the, the company progress. 
Um, but I, I like how I can see that from afar. I can see, I can hook up my phone if I'm outside. I can check my my batteries and my my solar panels, which is just fantastic. I love having the Bluetooth feature. Uh, it also tells you the temperature. You have access to the load function. I don't have anything at the moment that I can run from the load, um, but you can run pumps, lights, and all sorts of different things, which are on DC power. And I believe the load goes to 20 amps. This is rated at a 40 amp input from the solar panels now i don't have enough uh i think i might have enough to get it up to that amperage but i don't have right now all of the the plugs to be able to do that but i have researched online and i've seen other people uh, who have also tested this uh, charge controller and they have i have found one uh, reviewer they actually were able to get 40 amps uh, through this mppt charge controller and it worked really well so that's a really good sign um and I'm hoping that I'll be able to review maybe one of their inverters or I'll be able to maybe get a different inverter or whatever. I'd like to get an inverter to test this with the, with the Red Odeo battery. As for now, I'm still just going to use the DC port. And what I, what I do personally is I connect up my, my uh, Red Odeo battery, the 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery to my solar generator. So I charge that, which charges up to, uh, well, it charges at 100 watts. That's the maximum I can do at the moment. Without a DC voltage booster, that's the fastest you can charge. And then I have an AC outlet on my my solar generator, which is rated at 800 and it actually can do 850 watts max. I can also measure the voltage of the panels, which are when I put them in series, the, these specific panels go up to 50 volts. This charge controller can go up to 100 volts. And like I said, at 40 amps. So that is fantastic. You don't want to like run it at absolute maximum all the time, but it can definitely handle the 40 amps for, I think somebody tested it for 15 minutes or so, and it was running just fine. The voltage is something you don't want to mess around with. So if you put your panels in series and you're at like 99 volts, don't do this. Like if, if you get to winter and your voltage will go up on your panels, that is, uh, that's a bad sign. So you can easily go slightly over that and that, that, that'll put the controller in safety mode. So don't, don't mess around with that. But I, I put two panels in series and they work just fine. I also tested a custom solar bike trailer that I custom made myself. It worked really well. It's a 200 watt panel and it was running at 30 volts and it was running really well. If you want to see a review actually on that solar bike trailer, I, I could do a review on that if anybody's interested. And I will be doing a long-term review later on once I've actually used the battery for a few more weeks to actually um, learn some things about it and to test it, see see how it goes basically, because I'm still learning how, how the functions work on the, on the MPPT charge controller. And it shows you all basic functions. I can switch the load on, on and off. You can change the, the various different parameters to have different battery chemistries. You don't have to use lithium if you don't want to. And again, the Bluetooth feature is really handy and you can read the, the panels and the battery voltage and the percentage and everything. It's, it shows you all that. The, the whole system works really well so far. If you want to see the video where I have a look at the battery and the charger, which comes with it, the fast charger, which is up to 20 amps, definitely have a look at that. But that's it for now. Leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to check out their Black Friday sale that is going on right now. And I'm sure they'll have another one coming up probably in December for the Christmas and whatnot. So definitely have a look at that. Check out my coupon code, and I hope to see you in a future video. That is the Red Odeo 40 Amp MPPT Charge Controller.